And in the game, you should constantly remind yourself this. Like, this is how pro bot lanes lane, by the way. When they're playing, like, Renata Kalista versus Range or whatever, the Renata will say 15E, 8E, 2E. And then AD Carry will step up and trade with Renata E. Yeah, I mean, for this matchup, it's just super important that you guys are in lane from the get-go. And in general, like, Hamer and Syrah, they really want to stand here at the start of the game. If Syra is, like, good at the game, she can force her plants in good positions. So that when you enter lane level 1, there's, like, three plants there and they're, like, all spawn and fucking bomb you, you know? Yeah. So versus Syra, you always want to consider just going five people here to make sure that we get, like, ward in bush, like the middle one, you know? And that we get to, like, push her away so she can't spawn her plants. Because, yeah, like, what you guys are doing right now is, like, super bad for your lane. And the higher elo yeah, you is. play the better they will be, and they will just like be here now, and like Ezra will queue, they won't let you enter. But if we can't walk here as 5, because either we're completely weaker level 1, or your team is AFK, then you cover normally and you walk with the wave. You never enter like this in a losing 2v2. You'll still walk with the wave, it is worse than having initial position, because having initial position allows you to push them away from bushes, allows you to either keep 2 out of 2 wards, so you can only ward for ganks, that's pretty nice, and you guys can just keep holding the bushes and poke them as they enter the lane. But now we have to do something slightly worse, which is walk with the wave. It's right. not like game losing, but it's pretty shit for your lane. Compared to being there from the start. But this is like win trade. You lose both your sums here. If Ezreal Syrah was here. Yeah, I do. And it's just like... Like, some things in League, you're gonna have these decisions. Where it's like, I don't know what happens if I do this, but if it goes my way, it's really good. And that's just risk versus reward. You know? Like, risk assessment. Like, yeah. how risky is this? How likely is it to fail? And what's the reward? And, like, things like this is just never worth it. You simply have a 100% failure rate here because you just don't know what's going on. And the reward is so tiny compared to what you happens to you if it doesn't go your way. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's just a constant judgment that you have to make but this is not good. You have no idea where they yeah, are. Yeah, this is just game losing. <laughs> you have no idea where they are, and your whole laning phase is just lost if this doesn't go your way. And now it went your way, and it's not that great of a reward. Because now you still don't have what I was saying. This is what I wanted you to have. Because at the end of the day, this is what matters. Having control of this, and having control of who crosses this line. You got this bush yeah. now. Congrats. You flipped the whole game to get this bush, but that did not do anything. Because at the end of the day, they are the ones with now lane position here. Right. Well, yeah, unless unless you just start off by entering from topside, which isn't ideal. Well, that's but, still yeah. not good, because if by the yeah, time they see ideal. you here, they can just walk here and poke you still. Yeah. And then you guys are here and have to walk to here, the creeps are here, and they can still poke you. Yeah, or or we just have to, like, play, like, like the lane, like, horizontally. No, but they can, nothing sense. stops them from just tanking one Vars E, and then you're standing here. And then you guys yeah, are it, it over here. Stop them. And then you don't get XP. <laughs> And you have to walk yeah, around. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, if they if they walk up like that, then we'd have we'd have yeah, to like we're forced why, to like walk over there they? and then take like they can. That's my whole point. Nothing stops them. You guys have one spell with long cooldown: Vars E yeah, and then true. Seraph Q or W. After that, you guys do nothing. So nothing stops him from tanking one Vars E and then Syra from tanking like one Seraph W, and then you're standing there. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're fucked. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Lane position is good because if this was reversed, you guys were over here and they were walking up. We could set off W them from fog and you drop a fucking Vars E and you click back and they start the lane super chunked and you can just kite back while hitting creeps, you know? Yeah. That's how it should go if you have position. <laughs> so if I'm Israel, I would just walk up and hit you. Like, look your cooldown. This is what I mean. You are so useless, but they don't realize. They're just too fucking bad. Yeah, they are too bad. And that's the thing, like, that's why I said that risk assessment, like, because people are too bad. I'm not going to act like people are pixel perfect and will punish everything you do. But that's why you have to judge what happens, worst case and best case for me. And I would just never make a play like this, because worst case, my whole lane is over. Best case, nothing good happened here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because now, if <laughs> Ezreal, if Ezreal is a good player, and Star is a good player, they don't click backwards here. Look, here, after this, now they just click forward. Because you are both worthless. And if yep. they both click forward now, Esther clicks forward with Q and Sarah clicks forward, what do you do? We have to like leave. Exactly. Or we just have to... That's the whole point. I don't know. They don't realize this. 
Yeah, I don't know why they don't realize because it. Because they're just too I mean, bad. It happens. Yeah, they I mean, just I'm backed sure off. I, they I just had shakes. Sort of mistakes too. Like Esther was flipping max range Qs when he can just be altering you and queuing you melee range here. Yeah. And you just get fisted. They're just too fucking bad. I think it's really important that you guys try to focus same person. You know? Because if you guys spread out your poke like this, it's not always so useful. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. at the end of the day, you guys don't have enough damage to go through this guy's all potions and this guy's all potion, and then on top of that, kill them. Mm -hmm. So, like, if Seraph has been bombing Syra, for example, right? Right. Then I have to also focus my yes. uh, damage onto Syra. Then you have to start making a judgment. If you want to, like, switch it over to Ezreal, and you think uh, this guy's just griefing, or you keep going on Syra. So with yep. her already being, like, chunked, I think it's often more worth to poke her. But you also got to keep in mind okay. this guy's starting items and stuff. Right? Some esters will go deep blade one potion, some will go triple potion, some people will go refill. This is what I'm saying is especially true if this guy's playing triple potion. Or if, like, a gin with four potions. Because, yeah. Because if, they just if, have so much disdain, they don't really care about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Like, right. let's go Seraphiki. So, you will know what ability his skills have won from what he uses. You see W, 14. Okay. Alright. So, Seraph, W, 14. So, when you see him cast W here, 140. Yeah. You tell yourself 14. We do nothing but hit creeps now for like 12, 13 seconds. Because okay. we don't want to trade just like walking up and getting queued by Israel, Right? We want to use right. our spells. So... This click here doesn't make sense because the 14 seconds have now passed. You see what I mean? I do. And and in the game, you should constantly remind yourself of this. Like, this is how pro bot lanes lane, by the way. When they're playing, like, Renata Kalista versus range or whatever, the Renata will say 15, 15, 15, you know, every time he uses E, you know? Like, 15E, <laughs> 8E, 2E. And then AD Carry will step up and trade with Renata E, tracking his support school down. So you need to keep in mind this guy's CDs. So, is it possible to do that while also focusing on other things in the game? Well, of course, but also keep in mind you're laning right now. What else is there to focus on? Only thing you need to focus on well, right now is your lane I'm and like, jungle. I, th I think I was just thinking about somehow maintaining push, but also not getting hit by their spells. Well, this is exactly like, like, how you maintain push. Yeah, it is. But your trade I was also both. scared of like getting hit by spells. I think. Yeah, but I, th I think you should those are my be... thoughts. Sure. I don't agree that those are your thoughts. Those are your ideas. You know? Like, you should have a list um, of, like, ideas and, like, what you're actually currently thinking. You shouldn't think right yeah. now how to avoid spells. That's what you should think about before the lane starts. You already know. If I stand past Cyrus' range, they can't ever hit me. And if I stand behind creeps, Ezreal can never hit me. You yeah. Know? Cyrus doesn't care about creeps. Ezreal does. Okay? Right. That's that's why that's why I'm... I'm because I'm, I'm thinking about, like, just not getting hit by, like, Ezreal, I think. Yes, but so that's, that's what I'm saying. Standing I'm... here and here is the same thing. Standing here, so you're still safe from Estriel. It puts you at Cyrus' max range, giving her the option to go for you. But if you understand by clicking here, I can trigger her, making her alerted to use her spell. I can click in, preemptively click to the side or backwards. Okay. Constantly giving that, her the option sense. to cast spell on me. Right. This is like super standard mid lane 101. Of mage matchups like Sundra Oriana, you will see pixel perfect pro players walk in and out of this max range. Perma, perma alerting the Sundra to cast her Q, and Sundra will do the same thing. You will see people like Faker, he will do his click, and then as his champ starts to move, he'll already move his cursor back to preemptively dodge, you know, right. putting his cursor ready to dodge this skill shot before it fires. So that all he needs to do is to right click once he see the animation, he doesn't need to move the cursor, the cursor is already in place. Because he understands, yeah. by putting myself in his pocket, I am triggering Syra to cast her ability, so I'm preemptively dodging. So after doing this click, I click upwards into this caster because it achieves the same thing, you know? But by clicking here, I will preemptively click backwards. Because I understand, yeah. when Syra sees me go here, she may want to cast spell. This is how you space. Now, should he yeah. auto it? No, he should not. He should only play to fish for W. But my point is that now this guy 
has to be the one to dodge this when it should be two people. And if you stood where I was saying, if they then go to auto him and combo him off of the Zyra spell, then you would get the auto attack because you would be here. Yeah, I understand that. Yes. And you're asking, how do I see it? You just have to think how your support has to think. Right? If you now were to click back, yeah. right? Then, and Seraph goes forward, we can say Seraph is inting. Why would Seraph stand here now? Makes no sense. He has no spells, right? Yeah, he would just But at be this point, looking to he's going to have spells ready. So if it makes sense for him to poke, you should help him. It does make sense for them to poke because they are not going to like kill you right now. They're champions. They're not going to kill you as long as you stand with these casters. I want to be able to do that. I, I don't really know how to. Well, what do you mean? Just every game practice this, this exact thing. Look, go on the wiki and look up the support you're currently playing with, his main cooldown. Yeah, and, and, and so... Just, and just every time he uses it, just tell yourself the second. Look okay. the game timer, tell um, yourself a second. When just, your blitz just like... looks, tell yourself the cooldown. Right, so it's just like a like a habit that I would try to form. Yes, um, you would just form that habit and then it should become like second nature to how you're playing. Every yeah, single also... pro AD carry does this. Every single one.